Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 41. What are you, chicken? Today is Thursday, July 6th, 2017, and today is a wondrous day, for today is International Kissing Day! The origin of the kiss is unknown leaving anthropologists split into two theories about how the kiss came about. One side believes that kissing is a natural instinct and intuitive, while the other side believes that it stems from a mother chewing food for her child and passing it from mouth to mouth. Like a bird. Much like the extinct dodo bird. No, that's just birds. They still do that? While we may never know the true origin... Some of the oldest mentions of kissing can be found in ancient Egyptian writings, Sumerian poetry, and the Old Testament. Roughly 10% of the world does not kiss at all, and this is mostly due to the fact that it is viewed as dirty and or for superstitious reasons. Maybe all your schoolmates back in the day were onto something. Maybe there really are cooties in those kisses. The symbolism of a kiss can vary drastically from one culture to another. A kiss can be friendly, romantic, respectful, affectionate, and religious. It's not often that one gesture can be so widely used and in totally different ways. So the next time a friend does something nice for you, why not give him a little peck on the cheek to really show that you care? And that brings us to... Today in History. <laughs> Lyman Blake grew up in Massachusetts and started a shoe business at a young age. In 1856, he started developing techniques for speeding up the shoemaking process, and on July 6th of 1858, he received a patent for his invention. Lyman developed a sewing machine that could attach the sole of a shoe to the top of the shoe in far less time to the competitors. And a year later, he sold the patent for $8,000 and a $62,000 share from Gordon McKay. And the shoemaking business must have been some tough business, because Lyman actually passed away at the age of 48, working for Gordon McKay on maintaining the machines that he invented himself. And now we're going to pop along to... National, National Fried Chicken, Chicken Day. Day! Here in the South, fried chicken is a staple, with family recipes that go back generations and generations and generations and generations and generations. Despite that, it is not commonly known that fried chicken actually goes back far before the American settlers, all the way back to the Middle Ages in Scotland, where chicken was fried in lard instead of being boiled or baked like the Englishmen would do. Now, when Scottish immigrants brought their traditions to the southern United States, the original recipes became altered by the house servants or slaves of the time, who would use spices that suited the predominantly African palate instead of what these Scottish Americans were used to. And boy, did they do a good job. Man, they can cook some good fried chicken. They've come up with some of the best recipes. And I've got to say, black women can make some beautiful fried chicken. Granddaughter and great-granddaughter to two black women can confirm. Interestingly, fried chicken is actually a part of a wide variety of cuisine, from African Americans to white Americans to a whole range of Asian cultures and English, Scottish, and even Australian. Actually, I have found out that the number one holiday food in Japan is fried chicken. Yep, it's a Christmas tradition to have some KFC. Mm-mm, finger licking good. As such, there are many varieties of recipes, from plain and salty to spicy and savory, and there are also a few different ways to fry. The three main methods of frying are pan frying, deep frying, pressure cooking, and there is rather hot debate as to which is the best. So, if you have tried out any of these cooking methods, let us know which one you think is the absolute best, 
or which one is part of your family tradition? Let us know in the comment section below. So, if someone in your family is known as the Master Frysmith, see if you can talk him into cooking up some fried chicken, and don't forget to kiss the chef on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.